One day, one day, you finally knew what you had to do, and you began, and you began. Though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice, though the whole house began to tremble, and you felt, and you felt the old familiar tug at your ankles, mend my life, mend my life, each voice cried, where energy and resolve and commitment all come together in a very skillful way. I simply call that when inspiration and what we actually do with our feet meet. And that is precisely what we are going to talk about. The most about. incredible opportunities and to those big challenges that every one of us in this room has on our teams and in our organizations. That's the kind of inspiration we're going to talk about. Now, we're going to talk about three, my talk is going to be in three sections. First, we're going to talk about the myths of inspiration, and there are some. We know that great stories and powerful narratives are so important in our, organizational, in our organizational changes and for individual performance. We know that. There's no guesswork. Now, I'm here to say a particular truth, and that is great world-class poems are simply stories with all the boring parts removed. And as we had been working together for about two months, I often calibrate the coaching. So I was asking her, what's working, what's not? What can we do more of, less of, that sort of thing? And one of the things I always ask people is, what's the most powerful thing we've done so together? So basically, that poem helped me remember what I intended. It helped me remember to stay on purpose and on focus. And I read that poem every morning. And I have read it every morning for some time. That is exactly why I gave her that poem. To keep her on purpose. To act as a talisman. To remember what she intended. 